Hi, this is Shannon from SIS for Teachers.org. Thanks so much for joining us. This series is specifically dedicated to littles to help us create a math friendly home. In this series, we're going to be going through or sort of taking a tour of your home, showing different places where mathematical thinking can come alive. Mathematical thinking is really all around us. We hear a lot as parents as to how to, you know, bring reading into our home, but sometimes we don't realize that math is in all the different places in our home and outside. And so our first series um, section is going to focus on the kitchen. We're going to look at how can we make math come alive in your kitchen by taking you through different scenarios that you might have with your child. The first one, of course, is breakfast time. Breakfast time, a suggestion might be that you could use a tablespoon to fill a cereal bowl. Maybe you could have the child, if they're struggling eating, actually count how many cereal, you know, scoops it's going to take for them to finish the cereal. But this idea would kind of get maybe one child to maybe use a larger tablespoon and maybe another child to use even a smaller teaspoon and kind of see how it takes one person longer or shorter to fill that idea up. Math doesn't have to be, you know, something that's a worksheet or it's extra practice. And these videos that we're going to be featuring, we're going to show you just five simple things like this that you can use in your home. Another idea might be is as you're eating breakfast or as you're kind of cleaning up from breakfast, always talk about the plan for the day. Even though this doesn't seem mathematical, it is a pattern and kind of a structured schedule for students and children in your house to kind of think about what might be coming next. So during breakfast, you might talk about that you're going to visit grandma, maybe you're going to the park, you're going to have nap time. Maybe you're going to do something special for lunch, but reviewing that plan every day with your little is really important so that they kind of know the sequential pieces that will be happening each hour or each segment of the day. We always know there's time for snack time. A great way to do snack time is maybe if a child eating raisins or maybe even crackers, you could put about 10 of them into a container and have your child count with you how many snacks they have. Maybe have them eat one and then check to see how many more snacks they have left. This is obviously the beginning parts of subtraction, but it's just fun for kids to kind of play with the things that are in their everyday life to bring mathematical thinking in. We always need time for playtime, and I love the idea of exploration play in the kitchen. Of course, with things that aren't breakable, but even if it is, you know, playing with pots and pans and turning them over and making different sounds, or even taking, you know, maybe even Tupperware containers and kind of matching lids um, to containers that might match, or trying to have kids sort of explore in that way where it's not, you know, going to break anything that you need in your kitchen, but they can have fun, and you can bring in mathematical conversations conversations. You know, which lid do you think is the largest? Do you think it's going to fit this container or this container? And get your child to explore the different sizes and shapes. Our last quick tip idea is at dinner time. You always can have children help out with setting the table. It doesn't have to be your best china. They can maybe use plastic or even on the week that they're going to sit the table, you eat off of paper plates. But the idea is that we want to talk about patterns here. And setting the table could be funny night. You could have the child put maybe a plate with a cup on top and then put the napkin inside the cup. And maybe the fork is in the cup, but the spoon is going to be on the plate. However many people you have in your family, you want to make sure, if let's say you have five people in your family, that all five place settings are the same. And you can have the conversation when you sit down for dinner to talk about how your play settings are patterned the same. We hope that you'll take our five quick ideas that we have for you in this video and print out our free downloadable um, sheet that kind of gives you a quick tip. You can just throw it in a kitchen cabinet to help remind you. It's really about you being cognizant of, of mathematical thinking that's kind of right in front of you. We hope that you enjoy our video and check out our website at SIS, the number four teachers.org. You can also reach us on any of our social media groups from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter, all with the same handle of SIS, the number four teachers. Thanks so much for joining us.